Here's Australian 90 Milks update. Fukushima dairy farmers to restart shipments. Fukushima dairy farmers who were forced to suspend business following the 2011 nuclear incident at Tokyo Electric Power Company's Fukushima number one power plant to restart milk shipments as early as this year with a new large scale stock farm completed in the city of Fukushima on Friday. Are these people freaking crazy? After Chernobyl, there's still huge zones where they will not have cattle grazed on any of that Chernobyl grass. These insane people in charge in Fukushima, they're just trying to defy reality. It's really sad and heartbreaking because this Fukushima milk is going to be on the market now. The fully supported by the government and the Prefectural Dairy Cooperative Association the stock farm with 580 cows is expected to become a foothold for rebuilding the prefecture dairy industry, hit hard by business closures and radiation related rumors. Well, if all these rumors are there and you have your cows there, that's not helping the issue. The farm is operated by a company established jointly by five dairy farmers. The company aims to produce 5,000 tons of raw milk annually under a computer based control system on the 3.6. 8.9 acre farm. Again, can't they find 8.9 acres somewhere else in Japan besides Fukushima to have a dairy farm? Why are they so obsessed with growing products and produce in Fukushima? It's disgusting. This is not helping the rumors apparently they don't like. They should have this in Okinawa or somewhere far from Fukushima. I have chosen to do this because a sense of responsibility for the rebuilding of the dairy industry in Fukushima, Tanaka said, at a completion ceremony. It will be the happiest thing to cheer up our peers by our stock farm getting on a growth path. What, a growth path of tumors? Following the triple meltdown at the nuclear plant triggered by the massive earthquake and tsunami in March of 2011, 76 dairy farmers had to evacuate and suspend their operations. Among them, only 13 farmers have restarted their business. In the prefecture, annual production of raw milk remains sluggish at around 80,000 tons. 80,000 tons are still being produced in Fukushima? Jeez. So it's only down 20% since the disaster. Uh, it's not enough. It really should be 100%. There should be no milk coming out of Fukushima. And this is strontium 90. This is leukemia. This is seals. We've seen the seals. Dying with leukemia at the San Francisco, they found these seals that have leukemia. And leukemia comes from strontium 90 that's settled in the bones. There should be no milk coming out of Fukushima. And now we're hearing here there's 80,000 tons and it's only down 20% since Fukushima. I mean, this did not happen in Russia. Uh, the Russians, I, I hate to say it, but the Russians, they care more about their citizens than the Japanese. They did. They have a longer exclusion zone that still remains to this day in Chernobyl. Um, the Russians abandoned hundreds of towns away from, from Chernobyl. This is just disgusting, really. And this, this new milk farm here is being subsidized by the government. They only care about perception that it's safe when it's really not. 